Greetings. In this video, I have some info for you. One of my intentions here is to give a shout out to the city of Newport Parks and Rec. They have some amazing and quality programming and I'm so grateful we can take advantage of these opportunities. Several weeks ago, we picked up our free Western Red seedling at the Arbor Day event. It turns out many of these seedlings also went up to Otis for Echo Mountain Fire Survivors. Apparently, the seedlings are hard to get right now, so that was very cool to hear. Many people had the chance to pick those up. This last month, we've been fortunate to sign up for swim lessons, much, much needed to get some exercise for Reed. Coming up, the Coast Hills Classic Mountain Bike Race. Shout out to the Newts, by the way, for their volunteer work on the course this year. Coming up this summer, summer camps with activities like parkour, survival, fishing. There's just a lot of good stuff to take advantage of. There are basically two ways I stay up to date about these programs. One is I follow their Facebook page, and two, I'm signed up for their online portal, and that way you can pay for the classes online and you can browse the entire catalog and see what's coming. When I saw the poster for Low Tide Learning Survival Foods, the opportunity for us to go with a skilled practitioner right down to the beach and identify edible foods was something that just that just just excited me right away. Special thanks to Jenny Remillard. I'm certain she's going to offer the class again, and if she does, I highly recommend it. So enjoy the video and peace. slimy but they are the whole part of it is edible except for this bottom part here's the hold fast so unlike a plant their their parts are a little different so instead of roots they have what's called the hold fast and the way you remember that is they're holding fast to the rocks and their hold fast are really strong that's when you can see barnacle shells have broken off sometimes on the big bull kelp you'll find pieces of rock still in the hold fast so they're very strong this part on a plant, what's it called on a plant? Uh, you don't know what this part's called on a plant? Uh, yeah. Stem. So on a seaweed, it's called the stipe. And then instead of leaves, stipe, S-T-I-P-E. Okay. And then instead of leaves, these are called blades. I'm gonna try the whole part there. Uh, see what that tastes one. like. <laughs> you wanna try the whole part, Dad? Yeah. Threads there yeah. as I pull it apart. So this is a slimy one. You would add it to like soups or something that you want to thicken up. I was going to say it reminds me of like compost. So this one has floats on it. So this center part here is the stipe. It's real tough, so probably you don't want to eat that, eat that unless, you know, you're starving. Um, but the leaves, the blades, and the floats are edible. The floats are pretty tasty. They're kind of kind of like a little sea olive, little salty snack thing. So, what is this? This is feather boa. Feather boa. Yep. Wow. <laughs> you want to rinse it off so we can taste it? And there's. Here, put your bucket down. That looks pretty good. So this part or? Either or. I like the the floats better. You like the floats better? I think they're tastier. <laughs> So is it primarily like this end, or what about that end? Either end. These ones don't really have like a long bare give me one, son? stipe like some of the other ones. You want to try? Sure. Please. What do you got? Please. This is sea lettuce. Whoa, sea lettuce. Sea lettuce. Yep, and it comes in a variety of shapes. So some of them might be like long, skinny, ruffly pieces. And other ones might be like this. This is sea lettuce. Lettuce. Yep, it's not super flavorful, kind of plasticky because it's so thin. Um, so again, this is something that'd be good to add in soup. Um, I think this might be what they put in miso, but I'm not 100% sure. So we have air bladders. These will get fatter 
uh, as the season goes and you can pop them they make that popping sound um, so some that, people right. I'm sorry, you're fine. <laughs> some people will dry these out and eat them but you have to dry them a long time because they're as you can see very slimy uh. I wouldn't recommend eating this particular one because it looks like it's kind of mangled and old and it's pretty easy to identify because it's got that stipe in the middle and then the delicate stuff on the outside so and this one again good for soups I'll say that a lot <laughs> Thank you, Ocean. There we go. Uh, sea lettuce. Uh, yep, there we go. Right Woo! Look at that. That's some. Oh, okay. Nice. Is this the gift here? Yeah. Yep. Yes, got it. Beautiful.